like Paul. <laughs> Hi! Hi, welcome to my channel, my name is Guru, because we just comment over the movies and the stuff, and today we're gonna watch Death Force Drivers. That's it, I don't have a lot to say, let's go! Susan's father, I have the feeling that this is not gonna end well. Lynette, for her, now she has a new job and she's probably gonna have very difficulty of going home. But now she has a daycare, after kidnapping a kid. Bree, Andrew, can you help me? Help me out, Andrew. Please, stop being like that. And Gabby, Gabby's gonna have to kill a nun, and I'm all forward with that. I really hope you like this video. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me reach 10,000 subs someday. And also, I have a Patreon I'm gonna post for reactions, LSs, and post on these videos. That's it, let's go. George paid for what he did to your father. Bree. Ah, oh, shit. Did you give Zach money to go to Utah? Oh, that's right. Paul is back. Uh, Zach is back. And Paul didn't tell told him. You can leave us alone. When do I tell people you'll be back? A couple, maybe three days. Oh, that's right. He went after him. With Caleb. And who are you? Kisses are such simple things we hardly notice them. But if we paid more attention, oh, beautiful. some can say, I'm so happy to see you. I didn't realize you'd be here. <laughs> For her. How to tell the difference. I love this script of this. If I'm head cheerleader, then nobody wears panties. <laughs> oh! <Yeah. laughs> Face. You were a band geek? Oh, I don't believe it. What did you play? You played the tuba. Really? That's why he's so fucking hot though. You wouldn't have said boo to guys like me. No, you were more interested in guys like 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 this. Now I know. Like hot though. I was a lonely, insecure tuba player. Girls like Gabrielle would just rip my heart out. Oh. Um, for him. For oh, baby. I would have kissed you. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would have. No, you wouldn't. Oh my god, no. Okay, Gabby. That's those scars healed a long time ago. Oh, for God's sakes, come. <gasps> no! Forgive us. <laughs> Kisses mean different things to different Oh shit. Meaning depends on the one who does the kissing. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Lynette's being like the one who sees it happen. Well, Tom is fucked. Uh, Gabby, really, that's like a kind of joke that is nice. Kissing other people's husbands. Depend on the intimacy. We attend to the champagne that was spilled. The knickknacks that got broken. Ah, really? People broke stuff? Oh. And whatever other messes. Oh, she's gonna say. Cleaning up. So, uh, a kiss? Was that hysterical, the look on Tom's face? Oh, honey, you're not gonna say anything. Yeah. Wow, it's a beautiful cake. That kind of bugged me. You're not serious. Ah, uh, but at least she's honest. Could you maybe <laughs> not do that again? Okay. I think I don't think she wasn't playing with you, but okay. What do you guys think about the apple whites? I like them very nice, very interesting. Right. Black. They mean black. They weird me out too. Well, that's not what we're saying. They're gonna. They're not gonna leave it, right? What's going on? Nothing. Really. <laughs> I love it. You make it sound like I was making a pass at your husband, and that's just a little bit insulting. I understand that. She just didn't like it. That's okay. Some women might prefer it if you didn't kiss their husbands. That's all I'm saying. That's it. That's okay. Something to get worked up over. I'm not worked up. <laughs> Me neither. Is that just is sorry, and not, it's not gonna happen again. That's it. Hey everyone, did you see what Kathy Lewis was wearing tonight? And whoever told her that she could <laughs> They're not gonna forget it. Be shocked. Oh. Oh, nice, leftovers. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna eat this for today. Is that Brazilian stuff? You're gonna tell Mike? Oh. <laughs> Zach, it's back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, can we talk about it? My God. I thought you'd be happy about it. I thought that's what you wanted. I was hoping that I'd slowly establish a relationship with Zach. And uh, Paul is becoming a problem. But now Paul's back. And he doesn't want you anywhere near him. But he doesn't have a record, and I do. Yeah, fair. You know, despite what I did. Well, after all of this, my God. Zach away. I, I want you two to connect. I hope you know that. Exactly, because the problem was never you with Zach, bitch. It was Zach with Julie. You understand that? I think listen, I was yelling. <laughs> it says that you can do a report on anything from the suggested reading list, which includes the old man in the sea, the pearl. Wait, you're going to school yet? I never seen him in school. I never saw him taking a backpack. You know, it's not going to be so bad. 
I think you're really gonna like being homeschooled. Ah, this is disgusting. Mrs. Tillman said that Mike took you somewhere to kill you. Why would Mike want to kill me? I miss Felicia. Uh, Mrs. Tillman said that you murdered Mrs. Huber because she was blackmailing Mom. Yes. And you believed her? No, not exactly. You know me better than anyone. Um, you kill a few persons. Oh, man. Yeah, he sure is. Death dating. <laughs> the voices. Yeah, yeah, conversation, conversation. You killed me, dead egging. Oh, that's cute. Oh, she's gonna die. <laughs> Why are you drinking? <laughs> I saw what you did with your friend. Oh, and you didn't turn into a pillar of salt. Good for you. Fuck oh, her. It's seen you. Well, I'd hope they'd think that I landed a hottie. I mean, fair. You so much as smile at that boy, so help me, I will ship you off to Camp Hennessy and I will again? Pick you up again. Wow, that camp is being like Andrew, you again. So clear. Oh, Bray, don't be homophobic. Be f hate the Andrew for other reasons. I know you like to knock a few back before bedtime. I'm the one that doesn't judge. <laughs> He's awful. She's like, I'm gonna come back later. But honestly, I'm realizing that, like, Bray's drinking a lot. Sans Jordan. Please. I don't want to stay down here. That's a thick voice. I'm sorry, Kay. Okay? I'm sorry. And congrats for finding someone that is very similar to Michael. You need to take a look at those steps before one of us breaks our neck. He hates it down here. He wants to be with us. Of course. We're bringing him up, but not until I am sure that it's safe. I, I was gonna say for him, but like, he's a killer. <laughs> it's war here. It's beautiful. We've been parked on our street for two hours. Some neighbors of yours are thinking about moving. The Apple Whites? I sold them that house. Exactly. She's a realtor here. What do you work for? Guys Realty? Oh, West Side Properties. <laughs> I love her. You don't want to mess with me. You got it. So bye. Of course. Miss Meyer. Zach. May I talk to you? I have some things that I need to say. Julie, get in the side of the house! Miss Meyer, I'm, I'm really sorry. But when I was living on the streets, you know, I had a lot of... Okay, Susan, why are we asking you, bro? I've grown up, you know, I, I, I don't want you to worry. I'm, I'm not going to be bothering you anymore. You're bothering me right now. Either of you. Well, thanks. Really, what the fuck, Susan? What's this? He seems different. I believe him. Okay, let's wait. I'm about to say this, but I feel sorry for him. It's like he's so fragile. Wait, is this a blouse or a bra? I'm very confused. 24-7. Did you know that he's homeschooling Zach now? I think he should spend some time with a decent role model, don't you? What Susan's gonna do? You're out early. Oh, I just wanted to pick up some fresh croissants for breakfast. Ooh. Well, I wouldn't be so hard on yourself, given her history. What history? What do you mean? You know, the affair. Oh, this right. You had an affair? You didn't know? Oh, I feel awful. <laughs> Why Greenberg's behind you? She can wait. Just a second. I shouldn't have said anything. Bree, come on, just tell me. <laughs> Her gardener. <laughs> I mean, I would. Go around. Does Gabby know that you know? Hey, why are you uh, not away? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's too much. Huh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My face. This was hot. We have an idea how to bring you and Zach together. Bowling. Why you get involved? Yeah, you I never learn. Then you're okay with this? Being around Zach? We talked to him. He's changed. Guys, you talk with him for 10 seconds. I guess we're going bowling. Wake up, sleepyhead. I brought fresh croissants for breakfast. She's a great mother. Please don't. Shut up, a bitch! I mean, I can't defend him. Ah, uh, hi. Wow, nice body. Congrats. Dude, dude, wake up. Andrew. He did it on purpose. No. Oh, Andrew, you, I... Uh, tell your friend he is no longer welcome in this house. But we haven't even had breakfast. I yet. am serious, Andrew. You tell him to get out and of here. And she was gonna take your breakfast. Wonder how they'll react when they find out that you killed George Williams. <gasps> oh, you're kidding me. 
Well, no, but you sat there and let him die, which... I'm no lawyer, but I'm pretty sure there's a crime in there somewhere. You're kidding okay, me. Oh. oh my god, I'm being raised by a homicidal maniac. Wow, fucker. She don't deserve this. Come on, Penny. Let's get oh my god, so hard, so really, honestly. Oh, okay, what's this here? Bless you. Oh, here. Okay. You have me. And oh, Penny! Oh, she's okay with the kids. I think she got sick. Oh, I'm so sorry. Usually. Oh my god, no. He throws up on immediate family. I'm honored. <sighs> Is it bad, you know what? I forgot bread. Would you mind? Not at all. Tom, I need to wipe up. Do you have a towel? Sure. I'm on. fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you get the bread? Oh, yeah, they were out. <laughs> so I thought I'd give him a hand. Really? Oh. No. Because I sense that you're annoyed you found me here when you weren't home. Am I wrong? Oh, your friends. Don't do this. Lynette? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great actress. <laughs> what I said was that it made me uncomfortable when you kissed him. It's obviously an issue. And that's you, too. Can you tell me, are you hitting on him? I can't believe you. I have done nothing to deserve this kind of mistrust. Oh, shit. Well, that's not entirely true. Oh, shit. Come on, Gabby. It's a small... Oh, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be awful. Your wife doesn't trust me around you because I had an affair with my teenage gardener. Oh, I don't like when the friendship, the friendship is walks like that. Huh? Ida knows, the whole town knows, and we're just gonna have to move. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm gonna let you even the score. Carlos, go have an affair. What? What? I had my mom With a nun? Fly to Africa and nail that little nun you've been drooling over. Dad. I don't care. Wait, the nun went? And we can go back to being a boring, average married couple. <laughs> oh, just do me a favor. Don't bring back any diseases. <laughs> uh, he's like, so I got out of jail because of that? Sure you're not. My initial impulse was justified. So you really think she's into me? You're liking these, right? I don't know. But sometimes when I bend down to pick up the morning paper, I catch Bree Vandycamp checking me out. Scout's on her. <laughs> I'm like catnip. <laughs> oh, they are great. I love them. I'll talk to Gabby. I'm telling you, these women want me. Oh yeah. They see the. Yeah, they're dying. Oh my god, I would, I would do so much stuff. <sighs> oh shit, the guy. Ah, Iggy was supposed to call the police. Okay, that was very easy. Son of a bitch. Eh, uh, you found it. Oh no! No! Shit! Mama's gonna be mad. Yeah, tell me about it. Don't worry about that. Wait, is he the, is he the father? Mama's love me. Okay, we are. And also, yes, guys, it's very possible for him to be the father, okay? Because sometimes people don't know not anything about genetics. I shouldn't talk to you like that. Let's start over. Ah, really? A guy that size? Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! For him. I mean, he's a serial killer, so I'm not certain. Still right out. He didn't saw himself. You're kidding me! He's very lucky. <sighs> Shit. You're kidding me! <laughs> oh shit, a gun. Oh my god. Wow, oh, he really loves ice cream. I didn't do it. Hey, he did it himself. Well, shit. Oh dear. Yeah, guys, you're the problem. Poor, poor her, honestly. Ah, so hot. When someone discusses a sensitive situation with a lawyer, oh, that's right, he's a lawyer. Here's a check for a hundred dollars. That's enough for a retainer, right? I guess. What's going on, Bree? Let's go. He's trying to blackmail me, and I want you to stop the little sob. <laughs> Do that. I love her. I love her so much. I forgot that Kari is a lawyer. But at least he wasn't a policeman. Why he was after him? Oh shit. 
Is this Batman team? It's gonna be the father who hired. The father exists. Foster? <gasps> oh, it was the parents. It gets dark. We get rid of that body. Because Melanie Foster is gonna be is the parents of the girl who was killed. Hey, I hope it's okay. Carlos let me in. And I have been a complete idiot. Help me, Gabby, help Hold me. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, friendship! Yes, it is. We worked it out. No kidding. How'd you manage that one? Lynette admitted she was wrong, and I agreed. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> well, 99% wrong. <laughs> oh, whatever. Close enough. Oh, shit. Gabby. What? <sighs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the one percent is, right? Yes, I overreacted. I think. But if you feel bothered, you were a little wrong, right? No. <laughs> you kissed Tom, and it was a harmless joke. I think if I had kissed anybody else's husband, they would have laughed and then forgot about it. Ten really? Seconds. Anybody else? Okay. Let's test that theory. Oh shit! Dead. My God. <laughs> See, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Just a waste of time. Carlos is into it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I get your point. Perfect. Ready then, my work here is done. Carlos, Gabby. <laughs> She's great. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Carlos already cheated. Hey. There he is. Zach! That's the best clothes they have. Hey, Zach. Also, Mike doesn't help, right? He doesn't have other clothes. Thought I might join you. Is that okay? Yeah. I guess. Oh, father son. Wow, she's just beautiful today. I mean, she's always, she always is, but like, you know. Just for that, I am not bringing you back to hot dog. Zach, do you want one? Okay. Which money? With which money? <laughs> Help him, Mike. Well, I don't understand why you're being so nice to me. I mean, I pointed a gun at you guys. I, I you should hate me. Ah, uh, this is the best. Uh, I pay you money for you to leave, so like. We don't hate you, Zach. You had an incredibly hard year. I was young. I got mixed up in some really bad stuff. Yeah, <laughs> way worse than you, Zach. <laughs> way worse. Sir. People were willing to forgive me. Everybody deserves a second chance. Oh, I'm afraid that Paul's gonna show up. Help Julie with the food, so you guys just keep talking and uh, bowling. <laughs> Talk and bowl. Yeah, she's very discreet. Eh? Here, let me show you something. See the arrows right in the middle? Just roll it straight over the one in the center. Yeah, this is obvious. <laughs> the, my advice is, you see the arrows? Oh, aim at the center. Thank you, Mike. Eh? Look at that. This is a movie. <laughs> this, this is a TV show, okay? It doesn't count. Eh? Oh, I would love a hot dog. But a Brazilian hot dog, no this disgusting right, stuff. Wait, no, no, no! What? I dropped the keys, I don't have them, they're in here. Oh, shit. Break it! Get inside the car. Sometimes you just have to laugh. Guys, get inside the car and lower the bank, right? The. What's the name? The seat. Because it's not gonna have. Space behind it to, for you to go to the trunk. Andrew, would you mind turning up your video game? Wait a minute. My lawyer would like to have a little chat with you. <laughs> so hot, my God! Look at his face. I can't. Even, even if the police find out, your mom will never see the inside of a courtroom. What if she went over there to help him commit suicide? <gasps> wow, really? If you want to lie to the police, go right ahead. But please know that I will sue you. What? Abusive process. Yay, great. Cops don't give a damn. I'm sure your friends will. How does a little public humiliation sound? You can show this for, for also this. Bree, can I get a refill on this? Oh, her. Cow, do something. Do it. Your father was a friend of mine. He's not here now, is he? No, but I am. No, he isn't. But if you don't get your... If Andrew is gay, he will be holding him right now. <laughs> I'll take care of you myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. She, she's drinking wine again. When, when she drink wine? 
I just wanted to thank you for patching things up with Gabby. Well, sure. We're gonna talk about the case. I don't mind telling you, it's uh, it's been pretty tough on us the past couple months. Oh my God, please, not gonna happen. I think you're gonna have but <laughs> shriek, let's shriek, a shriek, a shriek. Gabby had an interesting suggestion. Oh. She told me that I. <laughs> this is the second time in this season well, that Lynette is being well be to invited to like have sex. Wanted to know if you had any thoughts on the subject. I I'm okay. Don't. Uh, I really don't. If you ever do, let me know. Oh my god, and he's doing such charm. That, oh my god, I, I would. That was one hell of a kiss you gave me. You can't fake chemistry like that. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, he's hotter. Oh shit. Paper? What the hell is this? Oh, poor him. He can't even like... Oh shit, he's going after Mike. Shit! Delfina. <clears throat> oh my god. Stay away from my son. Punch him back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, a drunk. Death. Oh shit. Fine. Oh shit. That was faster. <laughs> like Paul. <laughs> that was a great moment. Everybody look at Paul. <laughs> that was great. Are you worried now? Oh shit. Because yeah. I am. What? Not yet. Yeah, what are people gonna think? Thinking this is Paul? Well, he was our friendly neighborhood murderer. Yeah, it seems obvious. I don't know. Guys, is... Paul is not a single killer. Like Maybe Andrew. I'm thinking it's the Apple White. No praise on their house. But I got a little cheese, so I called every realtor and... Wow, she's very smart. They bought that house sight unseen when they did move in in the middle of the night. Oh. Noises. What noises? Oh, that's right. Nobody knows. She lied right to my face. What's that about? I don't know. Well, they just find out about them. Now I'm worried. That's shit. We love you, girlfriend. I'm not gonna be crazy, eh? I'm gonna get back inside. No, Julie, don't! Ow! Shit. Varies. I'm very afraid now. Each kiss carries with it a meaning all its own. Oh. I love them. A, a husband's eternal devotion, enormous regret. Yeah. And also, Carlos forgive him really fashion. Or a lover's growing passion. Oh, okay, let's go. He's thinking about Carlos. Each kiss reflects a base. <laughs> That's my mother. <laughs> That's literally my mother. The need to connect to another. Um, this desire is so strong. I still said about this. It's always amazing when some people don't understand it. Oh shit. Zach's gonna move him. He's gonna move him. He's gonna move him. Well, first of all, Andrew is a motherfucker, but I think that this is handle. And also, I understand, like, I don't agree with Brie being homophobic, but being really honest, since the beginning of the TV show, they already said that they were conser conservatives. Of course he's gonna be homophobic, what do you think? And not exactly like hating gay people, but like not being comfortable with seeing stuff, not being comfortable in seeing your kid having sex with the other person, you know, and stuff like that. But like also Andrew doesn't help him, let's be honest here. Um, Carl, thank you so much for being so hot. <laughs> The story of Lynette and Gabby about the kids, that was ridiculous. It would be so much easier if they said, I'm sorry if they're offending you, but like, let's continue to be friends. Susan, well, Susan's trying. And I think that Mike is forgiving her, but like, only because Zach is back. It would be so much easier for Paul if he just accepted and let Zach have two parents. It would be fine, it would be okay, okay? Zach needed, Zach needs support. And that's it. Oh, and the Apple White, they're fucked up, they're screwed. And I'd like to know what happened to my daughter before I do. When it comes to Wisteria Lane, there are old. Yeah, he died, right? 
Jim Halverson was aware that he had little to offer a woman. I know the actor. Nor smart, nor handsome. Are you Jim? I'm Susan Meyer. Oh! Wow, you're, you're so much uh, hotter than Nikki said you'd be. Um, How old are you? Really? How old do you think I am? Jim made the trap Don't. decision to try to be funny. Nah, not a day over 50. <laughs> oh, you're just you loser. That's, that was funny because you're so obviously not 50. That's why I said 50, because it's absurd. Oh my god. Tooth hurty. <laughs> Tooth hurty. <laughs> my god. I love that. He tried to be Am I like that? I will, I'm kidding. I'm you're never going on a date. <laughs> By comparing you to a Nazi, I was making the point that you're so not a Nazi. And just Thank you. Jim thought the date couldn't get any worse. Oh, shit. It did. Okay, Jim. Wow, my god. Oh, I, I don't know about that. In some cultures, headbutting is a mating ritual. Dr. McCready, can I talk to you about, her. about my head away from the draft? <laughs> this is the worst date I have ever been on in my life. That man is the most obnoxious, offensive, you know, annoying human like being. He called me Nazi. You, know, you gotta do something. It's my mental health. My mental health. <laughs> you took an oath. Could you let go of my lapel, please? Sure. Wow, he's beautiful. How old are you? Listen, I'm sorry your, your date's not going well, but I can't admit you, Susan. Right. For her. Jim, let's... Uh, She's gonna have to do with this. Hey, hey, I got a joke for you. Doctor, what's the correct medical term for the circumcision of a rabbit? Oh, no, what? Hair cut. Jim, I'm gonna need to keep you here for a while and run some tests. And Susan... You can go. You're good to go. You can go on. Jim caught the look that passed between his date and his doctor. Oh, he's gonna become a love interest because he is beautiful. Got the feeling. The joke was on him. I mean, you were stupid. I only tell jokes about a person looking like Nazi in their second date. The annual blood drive was a tradition on Wisteria Lane. <laughs> Everybody has a blood drive? Why, really? But my friends turned up for a different reason. Gossip. Concerned that their street was infected with a dangerous kind of sickness. Black people. I don't trust friendly women. That's okay. They don't trust you either. <laughs> <laughs> Betty! Yeah. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. We should all go out and celebrate. Super. It sounds like a plan. Count me in. Oh, my God. Bye. Bye. See ya. Well, shit. We're idiots for staying here. I mean, we should have hit the road as soon as they found them. Oh, so big. I have all of our money tied up in this house. So why not just sell it? Why them? Look suspicious. Now what we need is a story. Oh, so why you don't work? Look at this, AB negative. Yeah, it's the rarest of all blood types. Oh no! You're my second AB negative today. Seriously? The guy. Really? That fast? You find out that fast? Sluggers. <laughs> it's killing them. Well, my mother is taken ill, and Matthew and I will probably go and visit her. Oh, why are you saying this? If there's anything I can do, anything. Oh, I for her. She's believing or she's like pretending. Oh, so much. That was weird. Yeah, okay, she don't believe him. That Dr. Ron called. He needs to see you for a follow up appointment. Ah, thank God. He's hot. He wants to see me. <laughs> Jeez, Mom, how cute is this guy? Oh. A lot. Though. Mom, he's a cute surgeon. What's the problem? He's young. Ah, what? Young. Younger than me. How much younger? Younger, huh? Now I think it's time we talk about your hip replacement. And I was gonna say like, oh, you can fix my hip whenever you want. Huh? Funny and nice and clearly desperate and guys are in the back. How's right? Play to your strengths. Dude, it's a great dog, honestly. If one day I have a dog like her, I will be thrilled. Wow, what happened? Thank God you're home. What's wrong? Pat said you told her it was an emergency. The boys were sent home from school. I don't know what happened. They've got chicken pox. Chicken pox? That's the emergency? What chicken pox? They're totally contagious. Not to us. They are to me. I've never had it. Well, you never told me that. You never had a chicken pox? Oh, it's like Saigon point, Brazil. Well, Tom, somebody's got to take care of our kids. And you have to work. I have to get back to work. Just for a couple of days until they're not it contagious. It is not the Ebola virus. It's chicken <laughs> You are being a baby. Yes, I am. Okay. Is that... If you think I'm being a baby now, do I need to remind you of what I'm like when I'm sick? Is that a disease? Remember that time I had strep throat? 
Is that the disease where our adults get and it's way worse than a kid? I'll call the office. Okay. Come on, Tom, help me out. There's nothing wrong with me. I just like to look at pretty ladies on the internet. Oh, poor. Sure, not always dressed, and sometimes there's uh, more than one. But I only go to the classy website. <laughs> shame you. Well, it's a shame. Make your point. With nothing on except for a little pointy elf hat. It's very festive. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, oh, we do. I think you really need to see this. Oh, thanks so much for printing it out. <laughs> oh, my God. Most of the time, you have to squint at the screen to see anything really good. And not here. Thank you. Sir. That's, that's good. Well, um, thank you. <laughs> Missed my attention. Um, uh, Solis, I was wondering. Can I get this back? Would you sign that for me? <laughs> wow, that was painful. <sighs> oh, I thought he died. Why did I thought he died? So tell me what I want to know. What? Did you find the man who killed my daughter? He's gonna lie. Yes, and I killed him. It was a guy named Todd Forrest. Oh. And I killed him. I thought hearing that would make you happy. I mean. Two. Oh. I'm sorry. Here, let me help you. Oh! My God! What the hell are you doing? You're crazy! You're fired. Ah! Fire! Hey, it's over. So this storyline officially over, right? He doesn't know that he has a nephew. I mean, nephew, no, um, grandson. I think it is. Hey guys. Hey. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Carlos. <laughs> How they go for a dash, bye. I hear you got some pretty sick kids in there. Oh, it's just chicken pox. But Braveheart here will only- <laughs> Braveheart. Shower. I can't say I blame him. I wouldn't want to be shooting blanks either. <laughs> bye, Lynette. See you later. <laughs> Why wow, shooting blank? I'm sorry, what did he mean shooting blank? Of sterility if a grown man gets chicken pox. We're not having any more kids, why would it matter? Exactly. God forbid something were to happen to either one of us, I want either one of us to have, you know, options. What? So... What? You're saying... If I die, you want other kids? You would want a second wife? And a family? Because you already have a family. It's a backup plan, I'm not gonna use it. Then why have it? Great question. It's like it's like there's this door, right? Oh no, please don't. I'm not planning on actually going through it because I'm so happy. So lock the door. I'm not, I'm not through with that. Yeah, well, why don't you have your second wife make you lunch, okay? Oops. <laughs> I have to say, I was uh, I was very pleased to get your call. Hi. I'm I'm, I'm surprised you want to have anything to do. You're with so sorry. You're having suspected me of murdering my husband, detective. That is all water under the bridge now. I'm very glad to hear you. <laughs> and they seem very nice, but there's there's something about them that's off. They're black. Is that why you want to see me? Yeah. Why? <laughs> oh no, you thought it was no. a date? Just during the investigation, I just thought there was a kind of a um no spark between us. A spark? You know, I, I thought this might be a date. Please, please, we can't handle this anymore. I went away. Never get to have lunch with such a lovely lady anyway. Exactly, just don't be rock water. I have a sixth sense about people. And yet, you got engaged to the man who murdered your husband. How is my fault? Dr. Ron only comes in if there's a problem. Oh, well, maybe I should go ahead and see him anyway, just to be safe. Really, honey, you didn't caught that? Seeing nausea, chills, and tingling, huh? Yeah. How often have you been having these involuntary muscle spasms? Uh, oh, sure, sir. Uh, I want to get you in for an MRI. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get you in for an MRI. <laughs> You're so stupid. It would be very, very easy to be like, I find you cute. And. No, no, no. I think given the miss. I find you cute. And. I won't hear of it. All right. I wanna date you. I had two glasses of wine. Three plus the tawny port with dessert. Wow, okay. It's all here on the bill. We are counting. Give me your keys. I am not giving you anything. Drink a water. Except the bill. Okay, but the money stayed. Oh, he's gonna stop her. Really? <laughs> Did you realize it? You were weaving. Please step out of the car. You were weaving. You can't be serious. Well, 
Here's hoping. Uh -huh. She only wanted to help about the Apple White. But also, if you were weaving, that's dangerous, okay, Brie? Baby, what you're about to see will most likely shock and upset you. <laughs> okay. Remember Scott? Ah, that's a humble photo. I love you so much. Move. Ah, that's okay. What is this? Freakishly flexible back then. I'm sorry. How is your fault? This? I guess I'll call my lawyers. I gave these pictures to him as a gift. He owns them. Ah, but even though he's moral damaged. That's what I'm thinking. Scott's a coward. So you could totally... Also, how old are you? Is you are an age. You're gonna have to fix it yourself. And I would love to, but I have the upper body strength of a kitten. <laughs> Gabby. I just got out of jail. This brute doesn't swing that way anymore, so go find another. Oh, shit. Well, when you left prison, did they leave you a contact list? Oh, where's the guy, Danny Trejo? <laughs> Is she trying to put on the dust cover? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to get undressed for this. Uh, I, I, uh, then why did you put out a gown? It's not a gown. No, no, it's not, it's not a gown. It's, oh, her. It's, it's the dust cover for the MRI machine. For her. But like, amazing body. Well, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay. Okay. Hey, Dr. Ron. Sure, you can move I just have a feeling that everything's gonna turn out fine, and when it does, I'd like to buy you dinner. Oh. Maybe we can call it a date, <laughs> if you like. I mean, congrats on being direct. He listen? Dr. Ron? Uh, he left a while ago. He got a phone call from his girlfriend. Oh. Thank God he got out. Thank you. For her. I'd like to get out now. Try not to move. You have to wait. <laughs> For her. Oh, I thought he was gonna become something. Good morning, honey. Hey. It's my mistake. And I have to live with it. <laughs> She's gonna do water. Because we know Gabby. <laughs> Also, Luis can also, Luis can get it. Oh no. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm living with it! Clothes on right now. Why? Uh, you're not worried about the bottom half first? Gabriel, I am not beating this guy up for you. Then you better think of it. Oh my god. Well, Luis, feast your eyes! Oh no! Ah! Ah, my finger! Ah! Ah! I will find it. Ah! Tell me it's over. I'll <laughs> Oh no, Tom, you're screwed. I don't want you to have options, Tom. It should have been me on that plane. Why plane? I could never do that. I can't imagine oh, her. my life without you. You're my everything. Okay, well, that's easy to say, but... Exactly, but why are you thinking about, like, other woman? With a vasectomy. A vasectomy is not permanent. No, okay, L Lynette, this is crazy. Oh, I know, I know. But it is... One why is crazy for her? do they go out of their way to calm each other's irrational fears okay that's fair fine you know i'll make an appointment you, you know what i just reminded what was the mistake i still want to know i bet the guys go crazy with your whole classy repressed thing you got going on honestly they go your skin has like no pores i am not sure but i think there was a compliment in there somewhere. yeah there was but you charge a night look I five thousand really what do you have to do exactly for five grand? You don't want to know. I have been through enough humiliation for one day. I hope you have a better suggestion than that. Atachi. Walk. Ah, you really walk? Ah, oh, come on. For goodness. Really? You can't call your friends. They not gonna care, Bri. Come on. After everything. Why? Oh. Well, I have Auto Club. Oh, come on. You're gonna have to twist her. Lots of people have DUIs. Yes, but the difference is most of those people were actually drunk when they were arrested. Wait, you oh, were drunk. Not. Okay, I think that this become a problem, right, sir? It would only be natural if you did self-medicate. But since when do you know so much about my personal life? Oh my gosh, you gotta tell. People on this street are not great at keeping secrets. Except for you. Oh my god. You. They found a dead body in front of your home. Nobody can figure out exactly what you people are hiding. You people? <laughs> your secrets are safe. For now. Wow, okay, Brie. That was threatening. 
Uh, did you say thank you for the wire? Edie. Hi, it's Betty Applewhite. Oh, sell the house. I've decided to sell my house. Yeah, she's gonna have to leave you. Dr. Ron, what are you doing here? Uh, we, we need to talk. Oh, shit. Um, Susan, your, uh, your test results came back. Oh, no, you're kidding me. I can't figure it out. The chills, it could be neurological. It also could be based on an autoimmune. Yeah, she invented it. I faked all my symptoms. The dizziness, the chills, you know, all of it. <laughs> Why? Why? Because you're hot. I'm like that. What the hell's wrong with you? My God. Come on. We had one date. She wanted a referral to a dermatologist. She's got eczema. Oh. He's single. He's single. Maybe we could go out sometime. After that, then. Do you like sushi? You have a wandering spleen. It's, it's a wandering spleen. It's what? Big deal. Sometimes the thing just moves around in there. Is that normal? I can't do it, Gabby. What? I can't go in there. I, I thought I could. I got a few something in my nose. So do this today and go to an extra long mass tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. Um, for some people it does. If you really loved me, you wouldn't even ask me to go in there. If you really loved me, I wouldn't have to ask. They have a very complicated relationship. Be a good person. Knock yourself out. Let's go. It's not that I don't love you. I... Yeah, okay. Look, let's just go home. He's gonna go. I'm not gonna hurt him. I'll talk to him. <laughs> okay, if this works, okay. Wow, it's a vintage car. Really ugly like that. Good on. Can I help you? I'm Carlos Solis. Ooh, that's an accent. You have uh, naked pictures of my wife on your website. Well, you know what? I was just about to take those off anyway. I mean, you have to work out. To tell you the truth, Gabrielle's pages weren't exactly raking in a big bucks for me. She ain't exactly internet pretty, you know? What's internet pretty? My wife has a perfect figure. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Oh, uh, Carlos is so nice sometimes. Work a runway, but uh, when it comes to cyber love, Oh, shit. Uh, no real man's gonna he's a Catholic. Sure we cool now? Now we're cool. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> no, that's my guy. <laughs> A terrible relationship. Uh, he didn't reject me. Like in one day. Hey, did everything go okay? You didn't do it. I couldn't do it. What happened? Oh, shit. I don't make the money around here anymore. I don't provide for you and the kids, and I wasn't going to let them snip out the last thing that makes me... Ah, don't come on. It doesn't make you less of a man. You expect me to calm your irrational fears. I expect you to calm mine. Ah, oh, that's not fair dumping this on her, like, ten seconds later. Are you saying you're unhappy? No. A little bit, yeah. No. No. They can't. They're not going to do this with me. Well, what are we going to do about that? Well, can't we just... No, that. Can we talk? I don't know. No, please. They don't. They can't do this with me. Not they. They can... No! <laughs> no, I can't. If I lose Tom, I'm gonna lose my shit. A jerk. So yeah. to make it up to you, I did some sniffing around about the dead man they found in front of your neighbor's house. Oh. It was Curtis Monroe, a private detective who lost his license a couple of years ago. He's apparently he lost his license. He was apparently from Chicago. Now, yes. I, I don't know if any of this is helpful. Bree, this is three uh, bottles of wine. Oh, shit. This is becoming a problem. Oh, he's so hot, guys. I can't. The secret addictions that consume <laughs> our souls. Oh, my God. And the diseases we deny, which affect... Oh no, B. To survive, we need to find that special someone who can heal us. You, you did not do this. Now it's all nothing. I got one daughter. I you got a new nurse? Hates me. It was good. Yes. <laughs> the new nurse is better. But we can never predict. What's gonna happen here? He's gonna die? The other nurses all warned me you were difficult, Mr. Taylor. You're kidding me. When? They'll show up. You're kidding! But I think we're gonna get along. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. She's great. Am I the only one who really likes her? She's amazing. <laughs> I love her. She's a great character. Oh my god. And her character is a character. 
Well, that was it. I'm very anxious about this, but okay. Um, Brie. Oh no, Brie's like an alcoholic. Alcoholic. Can I be really honest? For one moment in my life, I also thought that I was gonna become an alcoholic. Because every weekend I buy beers, but like, that's okay. But like, after the weekend over and there was a few beers left, through the week, I was drinking them. It's, it was not like I was feeling like I need to drink, but I was like, it's a good taste. <laughs> And that's it. But now I'm without drinking. But not because I'm addicted, because I want to, like, get a little more healthier. Oh, Brie, I'm so sorry. This g Andrew's gonna use this, I'm pretty sure. He already using the, the episode 11, like, talking about, here, take your bottle. Gabby's relationship with college is very complicated, but, like, honestly, they work out, so that's it. No, no, don't. Please, don't break up with that. They can get a divorce. Why are you unhealthy? I mean, Lynette could have been a stay-at-home mom for years. Could you do it for like six months? If we think that eight episodes a week, 12 weeks, is, it's not even six months. Come on, Tom. And Betty, Betty's gonna leave her. But like, it's gonna be easy like that. And that's it. And Susan, not important. Susan's around man again. Man, 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 man. <laughs> like, a date for Susan. I really hope this guy work out because he's nice. Let's see it. So far, he's nice. Well, that was it. Well, thank you so much. Well, 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 well. I'm trying to say let's yell, it's very hard. That was it. Thank you so much for watching this video until here. I really hope you like it. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me reach 10,000 subs someday. And also, I have a Patreon, I'm gonna post full reactions, LESs, and post net videos. That's it, thank you so much. Everything in the link in the description, and bye. Brie, now that you're here, just try Caipirinha, it's amazing.